Today going to learn how to add a transparent glow material to your objects. So let's see. Okay, let's use a monkey as example, so we can see better the effect. Let's add more polygons, go into modifiers, and let's add subdivision surface. Let's increase to three, so we have better smooth object, and right click, shade smooth. Now let's select the render view and make the background dark. I'm going to hide everything else so we can focus on the object. And now we can hit this. I'm going to close this. And let's open a new tab. And let's select, for example, here I'm going to select the object. And here the shape editor. Let's get a new material. And we need only two things. Let's delete this. And we need the transparent node, this one. And then emission. To make it glow, we need to join this with mix shader. Let's join these two shaders and let's paint it here. Let's select any color, for example, this one. And basically, if we go to the left, our object is transparent. If we go to the right, our object emits light. Here we can change the color, and this is the strength. Now we cannot see the glow because we need to activate it. So remember to go to compositing, use nodes, and apply in the middle glare node or the node that you have in your version. I'm going to select for glow and let's come back to the previous tab. And now to see the glow effect, we need to go here and in compositor show always. And now you can see here the glow. Okay. Now, how we can mix transparent and glow at the same time? Because with this, we cannot show both at the same time. We need to connect something here. So the only thing we have to do is to add layer weight and connect it here. And now, if we play with this, you will see that we get this effect. To not see this noise, what you can do is to press N here and go to Options, Render Method, select Blender. And now we have this effect. If you increase this, I recommend you to press Shift when you click and drag. You are going to show more, and if you decrease it near to zero, you will make it less visible. You have Fresnel and Facing. Fresno basically have more contrast. If you use facing, have less contrast, as you can see. So use the one that you prefer. And if you want to have more contrast and more control, here we need to add, for example, a math node and select power. If we select one, it's the same. If I mute this, you can see it. And if I increase this, I'm pushing the colors, so I'm creating more contrast. So this is to add contrast. If we increase the number greater than one, we do this. And if we make it below one, we have less contrast. So you can play with this value and this value, and also change between Fresno and Facing. And now we have this effect like a ghost, transparent and with glow. If you want to see another version using this note, I recommend you to watch this tutorial. And if you like this video, please give a like, subscribe, and remember, you can do this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.